Hollywood's biggest stars, Robert Downey Jr. He had a blast helping the newest Avengers swing into theaters, Spider-Man. And of course, he answered a big question, when will he retire the Iron Man suit? Jesse Palmer went one-on-one -on -one with the superhero to find out. He's just your friendly neighborhood Iron Man? That's right, Robert Downey Jr. reprising his role as Tony Stark for a seventh time, but not in an Avengers film, this time in Spider-Man Homecoming. Set the scene for me then, where does this movie pick up from? In Civil War, Tony is uh, a little desperate and he starts trying to uh, get some uh, fresh meat recruits, winds up in Queens, and turns out young Peter Parker proves himself a worthy addition to the team, provided you got some training wheels on him. Don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there, and that's where you operate. Peter Parker kind of coming of age with Tony Stark, kind of overseeing and, and kind of helping him and grooming him along. It's about like when your 16-year-old says, well, I have a license now, I can drive, and mm -hmm. you want to put a tracker in their car, and you want to be able to deactivate it. Your character has a great line. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. This is like, boy meets world suit, boy kind of <laughs> blows it, and then maybe at the end there's a redemption, but he's got to earn it. It's a great lesson, I think, for parents everywhere, right? If your yeah. kid starts acting up, just take their superhero suit away. <laughs> just take their suit <laughs> away. <laughs> I mean, that's, that, that's easy, done, right. solves everything. Well, we, for us, it used to be no TV for a week. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's a little more complicated nowadays. You grew up reading Spider-Man comics. Of course. So what was this like for you finally getting an opportunity to be in this movie? I genuinely had a, a blast. I just loved Spider-Man. So to me, being able to participate in reintroducing Spider-Man to a new generation, that's why it's called Homecoming. All right. It's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. And it's the seventh time we've seen you as Iron Man. We're going to see an eighth coming up yes. in the newest Avengers movie. How many more of these can you do? It's like anything. It's like with a team. If, you, if you're going to hang up your jersey, you want to make sure that the team is in good shape and they can still compete at a high level mm -hmm. because ultimately that's what made the whole thing worth doing anyway. Is yeah, see ourselves like years and years down the road. It's like the Iron Man suit opens up and, and you come out with a cane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man's exactly. in a walker. Yeah. Iron wheelchair. Do you want to play a, a game of speed round? I'm going to play along with you. All right. First concert you ever went to? Uh, the Police. Uh, Synchronicity Tour 1983. George Michael. Oh, yeah. I was eight years old, parents don't Go to karaoke song. Uh, Little Red Corvette. Humpty Dance, Digital Underground. <laughs> Favorite movie genre? Thriller. Japanimation. Wow. Favorite hobby? Painting. Wow. Do you paint? Yeah, a little bit. I can't, I can't match that. Uh, any superstitions? <laughs> What's mine? I like having uh, crystals around or energy, really? or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I, I, I might have been a uh, Celtic monk in another life. <laughs> For Good Morning America, Jesse Palmer, ABC News, New York.